Mika Leverage joins us now, senior shortstop here for Liberty Softball. Season starts on Thursday. How excited are you? Super excited. The team is looking awesome, and we're just ready to show everybody what we got. You're a senior, uh, transferred in last year. What's it being like, a senior leader, and how much do you feel responsible uh, for kind of helping this team along? Um, well, it's definitely bittersweet. Um, it's almost like you never think you're going to actually get to your senior year, your last season. So um, I've kind of been telling the girls, like, you know, just cherish every single moment because you never know when it's going to be over, whether that be an injury like I had last year or your senior season. So just make the most of it. And so a lot of the seniors here have been taking on a lot of responsibility just to make sure the girls really appreciate the gift that God's given them. Mickey, you talked about the injury to your right hand last year. You missed 20 games. Coach Richardson said uh, about you and the leadership you showed while you could not play. What did you learn most about uh, being part of the team and helping the girls even though you couldn't at that point in time? Um, well, um, being injured is um, not ideal, but um, I believe that you need to make the most out of every situation. So I knew that there was a reason that I was injured, and I just tried to make the most out of it and um, kind of set an example for how to overcome that obstacle. We talked before we taped this. You're completely healed now. What was the rehab like? When did you finally get rid of that mental block of, okay, I don't have to worry about it anymore? Um, well, I had surgery um, beginning June. They rebroke my hand, reset it again, plated it, and I have five screws. So it was a little nerve-wracking getting back in. I had a lot of pain and discomfort with hitting, um, throwing, and stuff not so much. Um, but since it got hurt in the field, I had to kind of get over that mental block. Like, well, it's probably not going to happen again since I have a plate. So um, it took me maybe about like a week, but then it was like I forgot about it. Even our trainer, Hugh, he came up to me after and he's like, you took all those grounders and I could tell you didn't hesitate once about your hand or you didn't worry about covering. And so that finally clicked and I was like, all right, I'm good to go. <laughs> you play shortstop, Mickey. What's the infield looking like right now? How's the chemistry going? Because now you're working with a new second baseman, and that's important with the flips and turns and things like that. So give me an idea of the chemistry of the infield, and then we'll talk about the rest of the team in a minute. Um, well, infield, I mean, we're looking super sharp this year, and um, we have multiple girls who play um, at the same position, and we have some really amazing freshman talent this year. And um, so we have Sarah, and she can play third and second, as well as Riley plays third and second. Also, K-Mac can play third, and she's a senior. And then we have Katie Han at first, who's a senior, and Maddie Kochi, who's a sophomore, and also Jess Sersha, who's a sophomore. So um, we have a lot to work with in the infield, and um, it's really exciting. We all trust each other. I don't have worries about, oh, I don't know if she can play here today. I don't have that chemistry. Like, all of us communicate well. We have that great chemistry, and it's exciting. Like, I love seeing when someone's new to my right or my left. Like, I'm comfortable just knowing that they're there no matter who they are. Mickey, this team had the number one turnaround from wins from 2014 in all of NCAA softball. What does that mean to be part of this program, to know that you're helping turn it in the right direction? Oh, it's awesome. Um, I wish I could be here longer, you know, so – um, I'm definitely just so excited to get into this season and I can only imagine how much farther we're going to go and I don't like to, you know, count my eggs before they hatch, but there's definitely a fire brewing. How about Thursday? We're 48 or so hours away from that first pitch for you. You've been around a while doing softball. Do you, do you still get nervous? And if so, when do those kind of set in as far as the first game of the season goes? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that I get nervous at this point in my career. It's more um, contained excitement, and um, that's something that the seniors are um, help the freshmen and the underclassmen with a lot because, you know, the freshmen, they kind of get mixed up with nervous and excitement, and they'll see once we start getting, you know, all the fans and the videotape being in um, – just how to compose yourself under that kind of pressure and that that pressure is there to motivate you and not to stress you out. So it's definitely a balance you have to find, but I'm just super excited. Now, you're from California. Three weeks ago, we had a foot of snow on the ground. You're heading down to Florida for a while. How excited are you to get to some warmer weather? Oh, I'm so excited. I liked the snow a lot the first day, and then after the first day, it was cold and slippery and I just it was totally out of my element but um 
I might like it to snow maybe one more time, okay. but I'm so excited to get to Florida. I miss the heat. I miss the sun. <laughs> well, good stuff. Uh, come back with a couple of wins, and we'll catch up with you soon. Yes. That's senior shortstop Mickey Leverage. Don't forget, Liberty Softball opens up its season Thursday down at UCF. For Mickey Leverage, I'm Alan York for LibertyFlames.com.